It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie Collier and it's a bottle of the Bon Secours Beer Vivant Blonde de Noël coming in at 10% ABV. A big booming 10% beer then at Christmas time and it's, a, it's got a picture of a, a, a lady Santa Claus. There you go. I'm not sure if you can see from the camera but no you're not gonna be able to see that but there's lots of oh maybe you can can you see all that suspended yeast look at that looks great should we pop it let's get the glass ready because this one's going to go a bit bang a bit kind of bangy on me here we go the beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk link is in the description box below if you want to go and visit their website Boom! Here we go then. Look at that smoke. So the yeast was already, I'm not sure if you can see it there pouring out, the yeast was already suspended in the bottle so we're going to get a lot of that. Let's spin it up. Blonde, I, you know, it's a funny one, isn't it? Yes, I've had some lighter kind of blonde ales that are very strong. Maybe not 10% strong. Maybe I've had one at 10% before. But you always associate Belgian beer. Is, I'm not even sure if this is Belgium. We'll, we'll get that. Get there in a moment. Uh... Yeah, it's a Belgian beer. You always associate a Belgian beer that goes over kind of eight, nine, maybe ten percent. You always you always think it's going to be a darker ale. When you got a a lighter ale at ten percent, I don't know about you guys, and even after drinking th three thousand five hundred beers or whatever, it still slightly throws me out when when I have a beer that is ten percent and, it, and it's and it's a blonde ale. Maybe it's just my psychological thoughts of, of, of this particular beer. It's probably going to taste absolutely fantastic. It's just, it's just my association with Belgian beer is, is kind of 9 10%. They're usually a lot darker. I'd like your comments on this because I don't, I don't know if you guys feel the same on this. Um, but yeah, I'd be interested to read your comments. So a hazy... Blonde colour there, nice level of carbonation in the glass, lots of yeast, look at that yeast there. Nice one finger white head. Let's get the aroma. Lots of Belgian, Belgianiness in this beer. Spicy, lemony. A little bit of, maybe a little bit of coriander. Lots of spicy notes coming through and some Belgian candy crystals. Let's dive into this one. Cheers. And it tastes great. I'm just talking, I'm going back to that thought of it being blonde and 10%. It doesn't matter, it's just usually they're dark. But let's move on from that now, let's let's move on to the taste. And there's a lot of spice coming through, it's very dry, it's a very dry beer. Nicely carbonated. That carbonation fizzes on the tongue. It releases flavours of, of, of lemon, Belgium candied sugar, a little bit of orange peel, a little bit of coriander, maybe a touch of banana, maybe maybe some kind of some some green apple taste in there as well. I'm not suggesting cider at all, but just a, a sweet green apple. Spicy, 
malty, biscuity. It's a lovely brew. It's a beer that I'm going to really sit down with and enjoy after this review in the chair. Just it's one of them ones you contemplate. You sit and you and you maybe hold it like this, and you and you cradle it and you smell it a bit more and you taste it a bit more. And you really gather your thoughts on the beer. In terms of mouthfeel, again, it, it, for a Belgian beer at 10% ABV, it's just wonderfully, wonderfully drinkable. It, it, it's just, it's like drinking, it's got the consistency of a 5% Blonde ale, not a 10% blonde ale. It's not medium bodied at all. It's completely refreshing If you were in a Belgian bar somebody just I don't know offered to buy you a drink They came back with this and you drunk it a little bit too quick at 10% ABV You either get up and leave and fall over or get up and go to the bathroom and fall over. It's it's just one of them so easy drinking, incredibly put together beers for ten percent ABV. Let's give it a rating. It's really tasty. It's spice, lemon. A little bit of coriander, some banana, some apple. It's just a really, really nice beer. There's some biscuit malts coming through. 10% ABV. <sighs> Blonde de Noel. From a Brasserie Collier. Pick it up from beersofeurope.co.uk. Um, I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.